Hey what's up guys, welcome to Deterium Gaming. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create an automatic food delivery system for your base. You would need this system when you have an isolated base, such as this one. Let's take for example, this is an isolated base. Your dupes in your main base cannot access it. And you have another dupe here who's living. And you want that dupe to be able to be well fed. While your dupes are not delivering food here, you will have you will need a food delivery system such as this one. This system is very simple. All you need is a auto sweeper conveyor setup and some automation. So to set this up, you need a clock sensor, an end gate. Okay, I'm lagging. So you need a clock sensor and an end gate. The output of the refrigerator, the automation output of the refrigerator should go to a not gate. And then to as it should be and then it should be an input to that end gate. The clock sensor should also be an input to that end gate and that end gate is feeding its output to the conveyor loader and the auto sweeper. So basically the idea here is that you want the auto sweeper and the conveyor loader to only run at certain times. At a certain time of the day. It should be a very very short segment of the day. Maybe about this long. And you also want the refrigerator to tell these two to not load anything, to not send anything when it's full. So that's the purpose of this automation wire from there. And then you need this setup. This is called a, this is what I would like to call a staging refrigerator. It's a refrigerator with a very limited capacity. The capacity is only the capacity, the capacity is only the amount you want to send to your isolated base. So in my case, it's only one kilogram. And you have two mechanized airlocks. The airlocks are controlled by some automation wire, another clock sensor, and a knot gate. So that throughout the rest of the day, this remains open. And only during this time, this small segment of the day should be the same as this one. Almost the same as this one, but it can be a bit longer. Well, during this time, it should be closed. Because you don't want your dupes to be getting food from here during that time. And you will see when, we, when I demonstrate how this system works. Oh, come on, Turner. What's your problem? Oh yeah, you're the test dude. All right. Another thing to note is that yes, you have a bases normally have a main area where their duplicates eat. So you have a refrigerator there, your main refrigerator. That refrigerator should have a lower priority than your two staging refrigerator refrigerators because you want your dupes to load food from here to here. So let's set this to let's set this to priority number six. The conveyor loader should also have a higher priority than the staging refrigerator, so it should be priority number seven. And now you'll see the dupes are going to load the food into the staging refrigerators. Now you can also automate this a bit, but I'm still have I'm still trying to figure out how to do it without food getting stuck in the conveyor receptacle or in the shipping line. But for short distance transferring, I guess this setup would be fine. Because for example, if your uh, isolated base is far away in your far away from your main living area, then you will have a problem. Your dupes are gonna run so your dupes are going to run a lot and they're gonna waste time. So as you can see here, my automation is already locked off the mechanized airlocks so the staging refrigerators are now isolated so the dupes cannot get from here from here so all the contents of this refriger refrigerator is loaded the conveyor loader which then sends it to the isolated base and there you go it's delivered all of its contents and now it's being transferred through the shipping line And gets loaded to refrigerator in your isolated base. So that's all for this video, folks. Thank you for watching.